So this question is a translate word problem question. TWP questions are typically four or more lines long and require that you translate any quantitative information from each sentence that you read. I also suggest that you make sure you understand that sentence prior to moving on to the next sentence so that there's no need to go back and reread the entire paragraph. So the first sentence here says a small business owner budgets $2,200 to purchase candles. So I'm going to write that down. So I'm going to just say C for candles is less than or equal to, right? So budgeting just means you can't spend more than that. So C is less than or equal to $2,200. So $2,200. The next sentence says the owner must purchase a minimum of 200 candles to maintain the discounted pricing. Okay, so C has to be greater than or equal to 200 in terms of the number of candles that are purchased. All right, so then it goes on to say, if the owner pays $4.90 per candle to purchase small candles and $11.60 per candle to purchase large candles, what is the maximum number of large candles a owner can purchase to stay within the budget and maintain the discounted pricing? All right, so we got a little bit more complicated there. Um, I now know that this C isn't sufficient because there's two different types of candles. So I'm going to say uh, small candles SC is equal to X and large candles LX is or LC is equal to Y, which means that this uh, this first inequality here would turn into, um, in fact, let's start with the second. The second inequality would turn into X plus Y has to be greater than or equal to 200, right? The number of small candles plus the number of large candles has to be greater than or equal to 200. And then the transfer, the conversion for this one would be, I'd have to include the pricing, right? So I'd have 4.9x plus 11.6, right, for $11.60, y must be less than or equal to 2,200. So those are my translations. So what I'm left with here is a system of equations. We've seen these before. We have a system of, they're technically inequalities, but we're going to treat them just like equations, um, because that's how you solve them anyway. So I want to know the maximum number of large candles, which is basically Y, my Y value. So I'm going to use a process. Just get rid of this for space. I'm going to use a process of substitution instead of elimination to solve this, where I'm going to get rid of my X values and only have Y values, because that's what I want to find, right? I want to find Y. So I'm going to turn this first inequality hope you're following here, into, what do I want? Uh, X is greater than or equal to 200 minus Y, right? So you subtract a Y from both sides. In doing that, that allows me to turn my second inequality into 4.9. Now, instead of X, I can replace that with 200 minus Y plus 11.6 Y is less than or equal to 2200. And that's what I'm gonna solve, right? So I'm gonna go down to the bottom here where I have more space, and I'm gonna solve this, 4.9, 200 minus Y plus 11.6 Y is less than or equal to 200, or sorry, 2200. Let's throw a two in there. So now I'm just gonna multiply things here. So 4.9 times 200 is 980. So 980 minus 4.9y, I distribute, plus 11.6y is less than or equal to 2200. I'm going to subtract 980 from both sides. Uh, okay, so I get 1220 on this side. I have like terms here, negative 4.9 plus 11.6. So do that in my calculator as well. I get 6.7, so I have 6.7y is less than or equal to that. So just write this up here for more space. 6.7y less than or equal to 1220. Divide both sides by 6.7. Of course, this would be much faster for you because you wouldn't have to write it down. You're just putting it into your calculator. So I'd have y is less than or equal to, let's see, 1220 divided by 6.7 is 182, basically. So that means that if y has to be less than or equal to 182, that means that the greatest value it could be is 182. So my answer for Y, and remember Y represented the large candles, 
is 182.